viral hook viral hook hey guys and welcome towards this scale so today i want to introduce you to a new concept of mine which is called video listicle the topic of this listicle is sora 2 prompting guide because everybody is going crazy about sora 2 but very few people know how to prompt it properly so this is an html guide as you can see i've deliberately opened it up as a standalone html meaning that you can embed it anywhere it acts as a guide but more than that it curates a list of videos so this one didn't render but that's okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve videos and you have an amazing value obviously there are some things that need to be fixed that's okay uh, the biggest value and again you can make it more prominent is in that it has an ai assistant and this ai assistant is trained on the transcripts of these 12 videos and it's a closed system as well so if i ask it something like what is the bitcoin price today it's going to tell me i'm sorry but i cannot provide you with the current bitcoin price my capabilities are limited to generating text to video prompts and provide information on the provided search results meaning that it is trained not to go beyond the transcripts however if i go give me 10 viral sora 2 prompts see what happens so you're going to reference the videos cinematic product shot epic space scene futuristic spaceship landing woman opening a door Real life features record capturing a creepy scene, night looking at a map, floating through zero gravity, surfing a giant wave, Aston Martin and example, Jason prompt, dragon roaring and flying. If I ask it about Jason prompting in regards to Sora, it will know. It's gonna say Sora 2 offers several ways to generate videos. And it's gonna say that it supports Jason prompts. Uh, give me a JSON prompt template or Sora 2. Now it's going to give me a full breakdown on how to use JSON prompting with Sora. So this is amazing. And once again, since this is an HTML, you can embed it. You can use it as a standalone website. You can use it as a page. And this is extreme value or value to the extreme. Let me step back and give you my honest opinion on what I consider helpful content in this new blogging era. So to me, it basically comes down to two different variants, two approaches, and they are drastically different. The first one I call new data, which basically means that your article, your page should really contain new insights, different creative angles, original research. And inside of my school community, if you go to Genspark Academy, I actually have this amazing prompt that uh, for some reason is not extremely popular. I must say, but this is one of my favorite ones. It's called the Information Gain Report. And the idea is to get a PhD level research that stands out. And let me just show you a quick example. So this is the anatomy of, of a viral LinkedIn post. I just created it before the video. So you have 100 plus data sources analyzed, statistical correlation analysis, meta analysis framework, research scope, critical findings from sentiment products to algorithmic evolution, research methodology, data collection, statistical analysis, quality control, content type performance, performance rankings, statistical significance, sentiment impact analysis, optimal time analysis, LinkedIn algorithm analysis, viewer tolerance, freshness factor, anti-divination throttling, the 2025 LinkedIn virality formula, V equals H times C times E times T, which basically stands for hook content, engagement, timing, and sentiment, high performance hook templates, viral post case studies, case study one, two, 90 day implementation roadmap, advanced psychological tactics, meta-analysis summary and conclusion. But this is research grade level page or piece or text, whatever you want to call it, guide that I got like in 10 minutes using Genspark. If you want a 10% of Genspark, visit the link down below. So this is what I would call new data, new insight. But the other one, this is a forgotten art of data curation. So think of olden days when uh, you would write a listicle and it would rank extremely well and before the era of ai it was extremely valuable because if you were looking for a certain type of gaming computer for example you would arrive at a curated list of the best gaming computers 
under 1000 bucks or whatever and you would know that this took somebody effort to actually picked those computers and researched them and presented everything in a very digestible, easy to consume format. And right now we can and we should do that with videos. So videos are an enormous source of information. And I coined this term called a video listicle. What is a video listicle? It's a curated list of videos on a topic plus chatbot. So very much like this one here. Not only did I actually research these videos manually, I did, did not use AI for that but I also made it extremely valuable so that you can talk to these videos. And this is a closed loop system, a reminiscent of that of Notebook LM. Fortunately, you can share your notebook with somebody. Unfortunately, you cannot make it part of your website. And this is the biggest con for me as far as Notebook LM. So I want the Notebook LM feel and functionality, but on my own website. And needless to say that there are numerous added benefits, the time and page, SEO, and just pure value that you can provide. Now, it's a four-step process, which is actually extremely simple. Step one, find the videos. So what I did, I went online and I used a combination of two searches. I searched for Sora 2 and Sora 2 prompting. Then I made sure I used the filter to choose this month. So the month of October, and I manually looked at the videos. So timeline prompting, I like that. The only prompts you need to, for incredible Sora AI videos, I like that. How to write the perfect Sora 2 prompt, I like that. And I did the same with just Sora 2. And I basically created a list. So I copied the URL off of the videos and created lists. And I ended up with 12 different videos. Now for step two. I actually used Genspark browser to get the transcripts. So for some reason, the history got deleted, but you can see a glimpse of it. All I said was, uh, these are the 12 URLs, extract the transcripts, and that was it. And Genspark responded with, I'll now complete the full transcripts, and it did. So uh, as you can see, it extracted the transcripts, and it ended up storing them inside of the AI drive and all I had to do is download a zip file. This zip file as you can see video 1 through video 12 and you can see there are transcripts. Now step number three after experimenting I knew that I had to split these into two separate tasks. So the first task was to actually create a chatbot and I used chat LM for this. And the prompt was extremely simple, create a simple AI powered chatbot that can easily be embedded into WordPress that is trained on all of the attached transcripts. And I attached a zip file with all the transcripts. Now, there is a specific reason I used a deep agent. And if you follow the link below, you can get five bucks as a credit free of charge completely. So I use Tabacus because it actually surpasses Janspark in that it is capable of using its own AI models. So whenever you create a chatbot inside of Deep Agent, it gets stored and you can use it anywhere. I had to prompt for it, but still it's extremely easy. So once it got me this link, I said, give me the iron frame to embed. And as long as you maintain your subscription, it's going to work. And if you pay for Deep Agent, regardless, like 20 bucks per month, you can host multiple chatbots and they will all work and it doesn't matter which site you're using this on. If we go and try the same JSON, for example, it should know the context already. And again, we're just saying JSON, we're not saying JSON SOR2, JSON prompting, and it went ahead and set and outputted this. Uh, SOR2 allows for detailed control, and we know already, and it even gave us in a, an example, a template. So it knew already that we were talking about SORA 2. So this was step number three, extremely easy. And Deep Agent is amazing like this. Genspark doesn't do that. Uh, in order to replicate this in Genspark, you have to provide an external API for your LLM of choice. And then finally, uh, I used again Deep Agent to create an HTML guide, uh, which would have the iframe code embedded into the HTML. Now, you can use Genspark, you can use Deep Agent, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing that you should stress is to have a self-contained standalone HTML with all the elements. So by default, it might want to give you a few files like MD files, CSS files, and stuff like that. If it does, just say, no, I want a single self-contained HTML. And uh, let me show you the prompt. 
even though I'm going to paste this into my community inside of school, I'm going to pause so you can uh, copy this over. Create a comprehensive HTML web page about, and this is the keyword, SOAR2, based on the following YouTube videos. And here I'm using the YouTube videos not to train the chatbots. I just want them to get embedded. That's all. So this is the list, my curated list. And then I'm saying that there are certain things I want this page to have, and this is a template. So this is not specific to SOAR2. Interactive elements to maximize reader engagement, embedded YouTube, before and after visual comparisons, step-by-step -step illustrations, interactive infographics. Content structure should follow a logical progression, introduction, scientific explanation, step-by-step -step supplementary lifestyle, and dietary recommendations. And uh, AI is smart enough to adapt this to your topic, obviously, FAQs. Should be essay optimized for a primary keyword. It should have uh, specific design elements. And I don't want any footers. Also, I want this to have this AI bot, AI chatbot embedded. And I didn't do this the first time, but once it gave me the files, I said no. And I and made sure everything was working correctly. I said no, give me this as a standalone HTML file. And after just a little bit of back and forth, it did that. It gave me this standalone file. Let me just download it, open it once again in front of you. And this is the same file that I tested. And the chatbot is working just fine. Even though this is currently stored on my computer, but since I have internet access, it is smart enough to, to call the AI chatbot. And I truly think this is next gen. So video curation is next gen. The olden ways of creating guides is over. I think this is the future of all guides going forward. Go check out Genspark, go check out Deep Agent, go check out my school community, and I hope this was helpful. I'll see you soon. Cheers.